Hey guys, so I wanted to share this view with you. I think it's awesome, so I wanted to start the intro with this. So, but today we're gonna see something in Ableton Live, like the arrangement we did the track before or in the video before that I really recommend that you see it. I will leave it here somewhere. So um, I really recommend you that you watch that video so you can follow through this video, okay? Because now we're gonna do the arrangement and in the arrangement really easily. How I do it is the way I do it. And we will do it just with Ableton native stuff. And so I hope you enjoy it. I hope you learn and let's go to Ableton. So, um, I guess you now, if you remember from last video, how we made like a basic track, um, we started like with a few tracks and we did something like this, made a few, a few single tracks, single MIDI tracks, so you could like put drum, kick drums and hi-hats and claps and basses and all of that and pads we did all of that um, here I did the same for this class I did it again another track different as the last one but if you haven't seen the last video or really and you don't know how to come until here I really recommend you to um, yeah to go back and watch the video that I will leave here the link somewhere so um, yeah if you are until here and you have your first loop and something, then it should sound, I hopefully, better than this. That's with the speakers on, now I'll put the headphones. I hope it really sounds better than this for you than for me. I like it, maybe I will do a track out of it. So this is some basic thing I did. So what do I have here? I have my hi-hats, like we did in last video. I have claps, how we did in last video. I have here some glitchy sounds I did, that I will explain to you in some other video how I did it. Anyway, with Ableton stuff, I'm just working with Ableton stuff for you guys for these videos because I want you to have to. Con I want you to be able to do it just with investing in the in the in the life. Okay, so here are some other glitchy sounds that I will explain you. Yeah, my kick, my bass drum. Some, some chords, okay? Um, the other thing that I did, that if you don't remember from last video, that I put some grooves here, which I'm working with. I have three groups, which I'm working with for the different things. Um, I, I recommend you that to work, you work with different groups and all of this, so you'll make your track a little bit more interesting, okay? So, uh, yeah, so we have this. Let's start it again. And there are some there are many ways to record it in the in the other side. If you press tab, the tab key, or you press here, you will see the other view, okay? So, when you come in this view, you will see that you have like a timeline here. You will have like from zero seconds to whatever, infinite, okay? This is the timeline where you will record your track. So. Uh, what we will do, well, how I do my stuff is like this many of the time. Sometimes I do it live with my Ableton Push. I would like, okay, there are many ways to record this in the other side, okay? So one, the, the easy one that I'm going to show you, the one that you can do with just your computer, is there are two ways, okay? You can just take all of these single tracks single scenes, sorry, with shift, you, you press one, the the last one, and you press the first one with shift, and then you have them all, and then pressing the control key, then you 
and control and click and, and even click pressed you go until here the other view you put it here whatever you want and there there you have it all of your tracks be sure to put it in the first one okay so now you have it there you have all of your tracks there okay that is one way the other way would be just to the way I prefer just to hear everything again would be just to record it you know like I would just press here let's say I like it so I will just press here I will take the loop off so oh sorry and then I will just press record a few a few a pair of a few what compasses but um and much so I I do it this way and the other way you would do it is like the third way you would do it like do it live you would just start um in this scene and you have your push or whatever um MIDI controller you have and you with pads obviously and then you would just like press the scenes play in your in your in your launch pad whatever and then you will have you will make you will make it live and you will press record and and it will be recording like this here like in the in the time that you're going like this let me do it for you I have a push here but it's like I'm doing this this just for you guys that you don't have uh, nothing to do it with but I will do it with my with my push and then I will so you can see how how you can do it so yeah so I came to my I turn on the my push and then I went to the scene the scenes are eight tracks I have here I think eight tracks perfect yeah eight tracks and then I will just go here to this view and then I would just start playing the scenes and recording like for example I would do like record Let me do it again. I will just go here and press record. Let's say let's start with that. And then I will just go and press my kick drum. And then I will go and just go to my whatever here it is my clap and then I go just click C sound pass then if I want to take them out just stop them and just everything together You get the idea, right? So that that's how you do it. You do it with the with the push, and then you start pressing the buttons, and then it starts recording it alone. Okay, you can do that with eight scenes, or with more, yeah, but comfortably with eight. Uh, but yeah, um, that's the other way. So you can do it however you prefer. I will start here, like with this method. Let's do. Let's let's pretend that you ha don't have nothing just your keyboard and your mouse and then you want to do this part okay now we're we're here in this part in the arrangement 
arrangement yeah we came to the arrangement so for the arrangement we say like okay how I want to tell my story yeah so what I want to how want I how I want to start my track well I recommend you to check other tracks I don't know how whatever you like get inspired but I will do it here some way so let's start maybe this track with um directly with the bass drum uh, remember to push this button here so you can hear it on this side so we have this bass drum and we have maybe let's start with just ba the, one of the chords maybe like this no no that one maybe this one so you see you get like this little symbol with that symbol you can drag it yeah you can drag it that way or that way well, this is just for these things, you know, if you create a MIDI track here and you have to, like, um, what, you have to just, like, if you want, if you create something new, like, let's say, create a MIDI track here, um, a MIDI track, and I say, I don't know, let's play this shit whatever yeah we have this track here and we are, we are saying it yeah let's play that so you see that if I go that way what well, it works okay no but let's do it let's do it this way around and say we have here and we are recording And this is this pass thing, okay, this bass thing, and then we go to note, and then we go, we are recording, right? Beautiful. So, we did that, and we want to do the same thing as before, like to drag it infinitely. Let's say, let's see if it let us. No, right, it didn't let us, yeah, it didn't let us, so... What we have to do is consolidate to a new scene and then we go to this new scene here and we go here, we put it here and then we have it. So that's the way, if you record something where you want to do the same, you have to consolidate it to a new scene, but okay. So we're here. So you see that you can drag it. Ah, here I turn on the loop. If I turn it off, it will just go. I don't want it to go, I just want it to loop. And bore me to death after no 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 I'm just joking it doesn't bore me if the track is good it won't bore you okay but you have to be I, you have to be just sure because you will hear the same look a few, uh, the same loop a few times that's good that's our job <laughs> so let's say I'm starting like that but I don't want to Let's see, let's leave this other drum here. Let's take this glitch sounds here. just play with the length of this just not to leave it looping like a whole track I just need to listen to this part to 
kind of get the idea of what I want to listen or where do I want to get to in the other part. So we can do like a little break. Control pressed, you press click and you drop. You don't want to du duplicate it, or if you want, ah, you can also duplicate it. You can just select everything and Control D and duplicate it, or you can just with Control drag and drop and just do this little part here because we took this little part away and we continue. So, what do we want to hear next? Same to that, if you drag here the whole way down, you will select everything, every track, and then do that. I gave you two options, it can work in many ways. So, no, we wanted to start with the, with the, that is like a place to start with the bass, so we do it again. And we start from here. separate a little scene here and go here I like to separate them you know because if you do one like this is looped and changed and if you do one change here we will do the same change to everything but I want I just want it to be changed in this one so let's go here let's let's do like a double kick here I don't know to make something interesting yeah. I select everything and with control drag and drag it, okay? You can also do control D to duplicate. tracks maybe I have something told a story told and let's say okay let's say I want to make something extra like this was opening something extra that I still don't have that it's cool it's okay you don't have to 
be just with this edge, you can just do here, insert a MIDI clip and then just go to your instruments and then just say, okay, I will create something new. Or I don't know what I'm going to create, so it doesn't matter. You just go, leave it looping, and then just go and just tri try presets. Why not? You're starting and whatever. I, I also use presets, man. Presets are cool. But you just... I mean, if you do, it's not like the kind of thing you like, like the total preset. You just you have to learn how to twitch it and how to use all everything, just to make it however you like. Like how I say, it's like play though. You get a block of things and then you mold it around so you can have like a form. You know, same with the presets. But use presets, whatever. So you just go here. I don't know. Take for example this operator, and I will go to I don't know pads. That sounds good. Let's say I can work with that. So um, I go here, I take this. And then I say, okay. Let's make a pad. I don't know what which was the chords of this. So I go to my wave table and I see, okay. Those were the chords. Right, so I go here, I copy that, paste it there. You see, control drag. And then, I don't know, I will use one of these ones. Let's see which one. It, so I go here I drag I just drag and drop go here and go to this part here again and then I put it wherever I want let's say after this because I created there you know I have a looped and then I in that side you know with tab you or with these things switch between the views and then yeah let's say I like that no let's not start it there let's start it maybe here let's not make it that long everything and I drag and let's do something here
you still have to just start touching whatever you like. Check how, it, how you like it. And you can also check if you like it like this. go to the drop and then let's do it here I mean just for the hell of it for the for the example but 
you would do the drop a little further ahead, I don't know. But let's do a little drop. A little drop. Let's check it out. <laughs> So if you want like maybe some some effect, I don't know, to transition. And you don't know how to do any anyone, I will show you a really basic one. Just go here, go to your instruments. Just go to your operator and then just choose this like a noise, white noise. So now we don't want it that that hard. Hey, let's let's do it like this slow. Everybody does it like this. But we will do it slow. I will start recording. And then I will automize it. You can do automize it immediately if you want. But um show automation. But um yeah, let's do it the easy way. Not on the way up, I don't want it to 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 hurt my ears. Let's see, let's see what else we can do with that. Let's turn this pitch on. Spread it a little bit. further and finish your track well that's how I do it so if you want to know something else just leave it in the comments if you have some suggestion or something just leave it in the comments I'm happy that you can learn a little bit from me and um, see you in the next video